What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about the drone sector as a whole. And if you are in any of the stocks that are related to drones, then you noticed a decent run up today. And I'm here to tell you why that actually happened and truthfully it is some major major news and really it's going to have a long term positive impact on this entire sector moving forward. I'm excited to really provide you guys this information because it's going to mean a lot for the sector, like I said, moving forward, and it's really going to bring a lot of positivity to American-made drones and their products. So I'm pumped. I truly am. So if you're interested in the drones, then I'm going to provide you a ton of information. So stay tuned right after this. Before we dive into all this amazing information, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and it's time to fly into this video because we're talking about drones. Let's go. I'm telling you guys, this sector is really, really, really starting to kick it in gear. A lot of people are starting to recognize, they're starting to see the benefits of drones being used. They're starting to see the capabilities and a service that drones can provide the vast amount of people that are across the world. There's so many different uses. And I talk about it so much because I truly, truly believe in this sector and how it's gonna have such a positive impact on the world. It's gonna provide so many different unique and just very cool benefits to so many people. Package delivery is gonna be a massive one. Delivering pharmaceuticals is another one. I've talked about all the different things. You got you know food that could be delivered. And just the endless opportunities continue to pile up. I've seen all kinds of things. I've seen flamethrowers attached to them, taking flags and stuff off of power lines. I mean, I've seen it all, and it's all going to be very beneficial as we continue to move forward. But what's unique about that and what's really going to be super cool is all this information I'm going to provide you is revolving around that. So the very first thing I'm going to talk about is the fact that the FAA is starting to loosen the reins when it comes to really beave loss beyond the visual line of sight. So we're going to talk about that right now. So swing it on over here. American Robotics was given the okay to operate its scout drone in commercial operations. So the headline of this actually is FAA gives approval for drone operation outside operators line of sight. So the big company that's doing it is American Robotics. So the federal uh, Aviation Administration has given final approval to the Massachusetts based company to conduct autonomous commercial drone flights. In a press release Friday night, American Robotics Inc., based in Marlboro, Massachusetts, said it has been approved for operation for its scout system drones, including for operation beyond the visual line of sight, beave loss of the operator. Now, you know, there's a lot of companies that have been going through some of this approval process, really kind of joined up and have been taking on the beyond the visual line of sight. And it's absolutely amazing to see that things like this are starting to come to fruition. They're starting to see, you know, after all the testing and everything that has been going in and it has been implemented into allowing this to happen, it's starting to come to fruition and it's amazing to see. So continuing on. With these approvals, American Robotics is ushering in a new era of widespread automated drone operations, said Reese Moser, CEO and co-founder of American Robotics. Decades worth of promise and projection are finally coming to fruition. Amazing right there. I mean, you can sense the, the excitement right there. And projection are finally coming to fruition. Coming to fruition. It's happening, guys. We are proud to be the first company to meet the FAA's comprehensive safety requirements, which had previously restricted the viability of drone use in the commercial sector. The Scout system features three components, the Scout drone, the uh, Scout base, and the Scout view. According to the company, which has been testing the system for more than four years, the Scout system incorporates everything from landing to charging to data processing. So really, it's a package deal, uh, and you, you'd like to hear that. An operator monitors and controls the drone through Scout View, a front-end fleet management and analytics software that enables remote interconnection with the system. The real-time analytics provides accurate information allowing users to track operations at the resolution and frequency not previously possible, the company claims. 
So, I mean, you can see that this company has been really working on this, has really put in the time, put in the effort. I mean, it says right there that it's taken four years to get a lot of this accomplished. And, you know, rightfully so. I've talked about it multiple times. You got to understand the biggest thing when it comes to drones, and I've said it in every video I've done, is safety. We want to ensure that safety is provided to, you know, not only the people that are on the ground, but anything that could be relatively harmed. So you got buildings, you got infrastructure, you got cars, you got, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. You just don't want drones to go rogue and you want this to be something that can be very relied upon. And so the more and more testing that goes involved to it, I'm sure that it's been a strenuous process. There's been probably a lot of times where, you know, something hasn't gone right and they got to go back to the, you know, to the lab, as I would say, and really get it figured out. Those are the things you want to see done because then that allows for more success at a more successful rate as well. So you really are excited to see this. We are very grateful for the FAA's willingness to work closely with American Robotics over the past four years uh, on this precedent setting authorization. With this set of approvals, American Robotics can begin safely operating our automated scout platform for the benefit of the energy infrastructure, agriculture, and security market verticals, helping unlock projected $100 billion dollar commercial drone market so as you guys can see right there 100 billion dollar commercial drone market and what this is going to do is lead me into my next piece and really why the entire drone sector as a whole was just shooting through the roof today when it comes to stocks you know companies that are dealing with drones that are in the stock market i mean there was truly a lot of companies that were just heading in the upward direction and i'm gonna tell you why Next major piece that was passed was an executive order passed by President Donald J. Trump in an effort to really help out drones that are manufactured and assembled in the United States, but then also really just helping out businesses that revolve around drones within the United States. So what I'm going to do is read you just a little bit of this executive order and then kind of go into detail really what it can mean for the future of drones here in the, within the United States. So swing it on over here. By the authority vested in me as president, by the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America, I, Donald J. Trump, President of the United States of America, find the additional actions are necessary to ensure the security of unmanned air aircraft systems, UAS, owned, operated, and controlled by federal government to secure the integrity of American infrastructure, including America's national airspace, NAS, to protect our law enforcement and war fighters and to maintain and expand our domestic industrial base capabilities. So as you guys can see right there, a, ma a major, major piece really kind of helping and boosting this drone sector. So this next piece I'm going to provide you really kind of narrows it down to exactly what to expect from this and why this really boosted a lot of the stocks that revolve around drones within the United States. I mean, heck, even... Drone Delivery Canada was roaring today. So swinging on over here, it says agencies told to assess if they can end contracts for drones built by foreign adversaries. Agencies must determine if they can stop buying drones built by foreign adversaries or containing certain software or hardware from those countries, according to an executive order President Trump issued Monday. So basically what this whole thing is kind of going towards as well is the fact that DJI was said on a blacklist, said also on an entity list. And so that is a major, major drone company that obviously is manufactured by China. And obviously this is going to assist in leading away from DJI and really pushing more towards American manufactured, American, you know, made products. So it says the order calls for assessments of current unmanned aircraft system, the UAS, and it's required agencies to tell Office of Management and Budget if they have the ability to halt those existing procurements, grants, and contracts. Trump's order has no firm deadline. President-elect Joe Biden could choose to reverse it later or alter it after taking office Wednesday. The executive order is an attempt to secure the federal drone fleet and airspace by limiting agencies basically to be reliant upon potentially comprised UAS to access, gather, and maintain sensitive data during operations like natural disaster relief efforts. North Korea, Iran, China, and Russia are named. China in particular has a big share of the global market for drones. Like I said, 
they obviously have DJI, and a lot of DJI is used for a lot of different reasons. Um, I mean, they do have great capabilities, and that really was a go-to for a lot of people here within the United States. The use of UAS and critical components manufactured and developed by foreign adversaries or by persons under their control may allow the sensitive information to be assessed by or transferred to foreign adversaries, reads the executive order. So as this thing continues on, you're going to find out that basically agencies have 60 days to report the manufacturer model and security protocols for their drones, basically to the national intelligence, um, science and technology. And then what it says too is that it's going to pro progress to where they have 180 days and that's where the Department of Homeland Security and a lot more people get involved. And that's where President-elect Joe Biden would then basically either decide yay, nay, or some other things like that is what it sounds like to me. And it says, uh, you know, they would decide on what drones would be removed and what drones would be covered. And then it says, even after that, the Federal Aviation Administration Director has 270 days to issue regulations restricting UAS on and over critical infrastructure. So this thing truthfully could really take some time to progress and get the actual hard copy, that final decision done, which could take almost up to a year, it sounds like, as it continues to progress through the phases. This is something I definitely want to keep track of because I think it's very significant that an executive order was put in the day before you know all of the inauguration and the transfer over to, to President-elect Joe Biden. So it's just going to be very interesting to see how this is handled moving forward. Um, I think this benefits United, -based com United States-based companies. I truly do. And with this sector being on the cusp of just erupting and becoming a success, I think that this was important to put in place um, you know, when it was. I think that this is going to you know, help the likes of so many different drone companies. I mean, I could literally go on and on and on and make this video even longer because there's so many companies that are going to benefit from this. Um, especially moving forward. So I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see what it does for, you know, the drone sector and all that information I provided in the very beginning. Obviously, the FAA is really starting to loosen the reins because I think a lot of people are meeting their requirements. And I think you're going to start to see drones becoming a relevant thing as we progress through 2021. I think you're going to see a lot more companies that, you know, are able to do beyond the visual line of sight. I think you're going to start to see a lot more companies having the ability to really start testing a little bit further. Um, obviously, the FAA lightened up and, and did some things where, you know, you can test at night, all kinds of stuff. So we're starting to see a lot of loosening up and letting people actually do some, you know, some stuff. So it's exciting. I appreciate you swinging by and checking out this video. I really, truly do. I'm excited for this sector. Hopefully, you guys found some absolute amazing information from this. And now you understand why the sector as a whole was booming today. I do want to remind you guys I'm not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And that's exactly what I'm here to do is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.